An outlier is a value that is significantly higher or lower than most of the values in the data. When analyzing data, these values might end up giving misleading results. To identify outliers, we can use the mean and standard deviation of the data. A standard deviation value would tell you how much the data set deviates from the mean of the data set. A lower value indicates that the data points tend to be closer to the mean value. A higher value indicates that there is widespread variation in the data points. This can also happen when there are many outliers in the data set. For example, find the outliers for the scores of students using mean and standard deviation. Use the stdev.s function to calculate standard deviation. To calculate the mean, use the average function. The values that are two standard deviations away from the mean are the outliers. The lower bound is calculated using this formula. Mean minus 2 multiplied by standard deviation. The upper bound is calculated using this formula. Mean plus 2 multiplied by standard deviation. Outliers are scores that are lower than the lower bound or higher than the upper bound. Use this OR formula to return true for those values that are outliers. This will return true if the score is an outlier and false otherwise. Copy the formula down. A true indicates an outlier. We have two outlier values. Rose's score 120 which is above upper bound and Lily's score 22 which is less than lower bound. Instead of just true-false, if you want to mark the outliers as high and low, use a nested if. Use this formula. The first if returns low if the score is less than the lower bound. Else the second if returns high if the score is greater than upper bound. Else an empty string. Copy the formula down. The outliers greater than upper bound are marked as high and less than lower bound are marked as low. Another way of finding outliers is by using the z-score value. The z-score value, also known as the standard score, gives an idea of how far a data point is from the mean. This is the formula for the z-score. x is an individual data value in the distribution. Use this formula to calculate the z-index. Copy the formula down. The further away a data value's z-score is from zero, the more unusual it is. A standard cutoff value for finding outliers are z-scores of plus or minus three or further from zero. So any value with a z-score of less than minus three and more than plus three can be considered an outlier. None of the values in the data set have crossed the minus 3 or plus 3 mark. This is because these points are probably not that far from the mean. A boundary z-score of plus 2 and minus 2 can be considered as quite away from the mean. So let us consider values with a z-score value less than minus 2 or more than plus 2 as outliers. Use this formula to mark the outliers. This formula returns true if the value is an outlier else false. Copy the formula down to mark the other outliers. To mark the outliers as high or low, use this formula. Copy the formula down. The outliers are marked as high or low. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.